become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I would like to introduce a new series of booklets written by yours truly, that's right, the Golden Era Bookworm on Steve Reeves' approach to developing his physique. These booklets are based on his earliest training principles from the late 40s after winning the AAU 1947 Mr. America title. The first booklet which I have chosen to write approximately 20 pages in size is on his uh, waistline. And if successful, I will continue producing more booklets on the iconic Reeves. Now, Reeves was blessed genetically with a small hip structure, similar to Sergio Oliva, and accompanied with his wide shoulder frame, was able to not only develop a tiny muscular waist, but give a wonderful V-tapered illusion to his legendary physique, as shown in this wonderful hands clasped behind the head's um, shot as he looks over into the sun and it creates a wonderful V tape. I mean, you can draw a V from his elbows down to that tiny waist. It's just a wonderful shot uh, of Steve Reeves, really showcasing that wonderful tiny waist, muscular waist that he developed. So this booklet available on my website, goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website, um, lists the exercises that Steve Reeves preferred during the late 40s for his competition win of the 1947 Mr. America and it also lists routines that he recommends all the way from beginners to even elite level um, as well as a diet so he actually I actually list Steve Reeves's competition diet um, which he used for cutting up because of course for the development of the abdominals we all know that diet plays a key factor and in today's video, I will briefly showcase Steve's approach to training the waist, of which all the information uh, from this video is elaborated in much more depth in my booklet. Let's get straight into it. Now, in Steve's opinion, the waist being the zone and really the center of vitality of the body and of health really is a representation of the person's physique. Um, and a sign of their health, a reflection of their health. And he puts it really beautifully when he compares the Roman or Greeks, uh, Greek sculptures, uh, the heroes of before, and how he talks about how these men of great power, when, um, when frozen in time through sculpture, always show wonderful development of all the abdominal muscles. In Steve's approach, he recommends training, just like other greats do, uh, training the waist every single day. And um, in his own personal opinion, he also states that heavy weights are not necessary. Simply using your own body weight should be enough, at least in the early stages. Now, he also recommends a variety of exercises. And in that re respect, it's very um, interesting to read when I was reading all his uh, previous work on, on developing the waist, how he doesn't necessarily preach the repetition of of hundreds or thousands of, rep of reps for a particular exercise. Instead, he has a different approach and a very interesting one, and that is to use a variety of exercises, and I mean a, a large variety of exercises, and not for endless repetitions, um, but training the, the waist in, in, in different directions and for different purposes. And that is a very unique way of training that Steve Reeves and, and uh, had an, a very different approach to waist training to what I've read from other silver and golden era champions. Now, as I mentioned, the variety of exercises that Steve Reeves used were many. I mean, we're talking plenty of different exercises, and these are not on, the only ones recommended or listed in, in the booklet that I've written. These are just some of the examples. Um, for example, he would recommend training the side bend for the obliques, but not too heavy to overdevelop the oblique. He would recommend alternate leg raises, otherwise known as scissor kicks, as well as sit-ups of all different kinds of varieties, such as a Roman chair sit-ups, flat bench sit-ups, incline sit-ups, all again listed in my booklet. Um, he would also recommend a variety of different leg raises and to even increase the intensity and the uh, level of advancement, he would recommend the use of different angled benches as well as eventually 
weighted resistance for the abdominal exercises, for example, with the use of iron boots, dumbbells, etc. Now, here I list a basic routine which is found in the booklet, but within the booklet you will also find an intermediate routine, advanced, and an elite routine that I was able to write out after having read Steve Reeves' material from the late 40s. Um, one of the recommendations that Steve has for all the routines is that you sprint on one spot, that is run on one spot. He finds that it has an excellent effect in keeping the waist tight, on reducing the waistline. And it also serves as an excellent warm-up and as a cool-down. Hence, in the basic routine and all the other routines, it is used to warm-up and cool-down. Um, next on the list is the side bend, but only used with a very light dumbbell for, performed for uh, only 10 reps. The scissor kicks is then performed for 30 reps, that is 15 kicks per leg. The sit-up for 10 reps. Um, and with each of these exercises, for example, you have progressions and goals in uh, in Steve's recommendations for intermediate level, advanced level, etc. Um, the double leg raise is followed after this for 10 repetitions. The Roman chair sit up for 10 repetitions. The hanging leg raise, which he believes is the hardest of all these exercises, is only performed for five repetitions for the basic beginner routine. And again, to finish off the routine is a sprint on one spot perform for 50 times. This is the basic routine as outlined in the booklet and as outlined by Steve Reeves. Now besides writing out these specialization courses based on Steve Reeves' uh, own recommendations and articles from the late 40s and early 50s, um, I also decided specifically for the waste booklet to include his cutting diet, his typical competition diet which he used uh, for stripping fat. And of course, this is, this is vital when working the waistline, when trying to improve and, and visually have an appealing waistline, it is absolutely necessary to um, give recommendations about diet. And this, believe it or not, is Steve's um, own competition diet. He would either alternate between his Steve Reeves power drink, which I have given uh, the recipe in another video, which is listed uh, in the description below and also linked above, uh, or he would have, as I said, alternated uh, on another day. For example, instead of having the power drink, he would have a birch and muesli with almonds and fruit. Again, this information is given in my booklet, the full recipe. Uh, the, uh, his, for his lunch, he would have cottage cheese mixed with fruit, nuts, um, raisins, etc. And he would also have a couple of pieces of fruit. And for dinner, he would usually have salad and a protein sauce such as steak, chicken or fish. So there you have it. You can purchase How I Develop My Waste by Steve Reeves on goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. And this is the very first booklet I've written based on his recommendations from the late 40s. And I will continue to do so if this booklet is a success. It is currently available only for five bucks for the next 24 hours. So go get it while it's at this introductory price and then it will go up in price. Um, Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to support my work, please uh, donate via PayPal, become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm. Or you can buy uh, courses now from Steve Reeves or even Reg Park or others from the Bronze Era, such as Eugene Sandow, on my website, goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Visit goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website for courses from the Bronze and Silver Era of Bodybuilding. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.